benefit Patrick's. So um, we've just got a little bit to go in um, our present chapter, which is uh, chapter 10. So today I just want to really quickly talk you through that sort of lift type question that we sort of skirted over last time. Uh, it may be that you've already done the question, or, but I'll just quickly go over that. And then we're going to move on to pulleys, which is the last bit of the chapter. Izzy, you were saying you've done that already, so well done. And then that just leaves the mixed exercise and the, the unit test. Now, um, once we've done that, we've got, we're just left with one chapter in AS Mechanics, which is a very short chapter at the end, and it's just on variable acceleration. Now, that just means that's just where we're um, integrating to go from acceleration to velocity and velocity to displacement and differentiating to go back the other way. So th I really feel I can cover the basics of that with you uh, in 15, 20 minutes or so. And I'm tempted. Well, what I'd like to say is you just almost work backwards on that. You you have a look at the unit test. So I reckon you, lots of you will be able to do that already just from being good on differentiation and integration, particularly after a 20 minute refresh. And if you find you can't do the unit test, then obviously just dip into the chapter as you see fit. So whilst we only have two lessons left before the end of term, I still think it would be really nice and just keep things clean if we can try and say, yeah, we've, we've really pretty much got through the AS mechanics. So this is the plan, guys. I'm As I said, I'm just going to go and talk you through those bits and bobs to get you into police. Izzy, I appreciate you've already done that. Um, and then Mrs. Miskin said she basically was um, happy not to teach you Friday period one. She said that really she would be starting a new chapter. So I can basically take that lesson Friday period one. So I think formally that is the lesson I would like you to take the unit eight chapter 10 test. So that's this Friday. So Izzy, if you can get that done ahead of that, then that would be excellent. OK, yeah. that then means that uh, I then see you on Monday and I, I'm planning then to just quickly just talk you through the basics, just remind you how you progress between displacement, velocity and acceleration by uh, differentiating one way, integrating the other. But then really with a view, and I'm afraid this isn't in a formal lesson because I don't have any more and Miss Cummins didn't want to forgo any because she's still trying to get through the stats. I'm just hoping you can find a free to try and um, complete that final unit test. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've set them both up on assignments. I mean, Izzy, if you're almost one lesson ahead of us, you might, you know, you can you could probably almost do it the other way around and be finished just in the normal lesson time. But I will leave that to you. Now, at the end of the day, if obviously if there is a unit test outstanding as we go into the holidays, you know, so be it. And we'll just have to mop that up at the beginning of next next term. But I think in the perfect world, if we could have the four of them done, that, that would be great. So um, let's us just quickly look at the bits that I wanted to um, go through today, just quickly. So this first one is example 12, and it may be that you've already gone and um, done this and you've done the question. So basically, this example leads you into question four in the, the exercise. So I don't know whether you've done it already, Izzy, or whether you left it out. Did you do it already? Yeah, I did it. OK, so, fine. OK, so yeah, it was fine. Yeah, OK. Right. I'll tell you what, what I think we'll do then, if, if you've done that already, and Patrick, if you just make sure you just look through example 12 uh, before you try that question four, it's not too well. It's a bit awkward, I think, the, the latter bits of it, but it, it's, it's fine. So you're just looking at the system as a whole using F equals MA, and then you just got to get your mind around as you're looking between um, uh, sort of which way round you're looking at it. So I will leave you, I think, given you've done that, Izzy, and, and James isn't there. I think um, to just get, so work your way through example 12, please, Patrick, and that will then allow you to do question four. Um, so now, Izzy, you've said you've done all these pretty questions already, so I... You know, if you, you don't don't feel obliged just to hang around just for if you've done it already. So, um, you know, if you want to go for free. Um, <clears throat> so but I'm just going to still record it for James's benefit. And obviously, Patrick is there. So are you staying easy or are you going? 
I think I might go. As no, that's going. absolutely fine. It's abs I'd mm -hmm. rather give you the chance to just get on with the unit test and then, uh, or whatever you want. Bit of mix, you know, you do it as you see fit. But really, the goal in the perfect world is, is to have all four tests, and you've done two already, you know, done by the end of term. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cheers. Bye. Right. right. So, Patrick, so we've got pulleys here. Okay. So, we, we're going to have a pulley. The pulley is smooth, so there is no friction. And the uh, they're connected with a string which is light and inextensible. So inextensible is not stretchy. OK. <clears throat> OK. Now, you're going to have two different scenarios. You're either going to have a pulley like this, where it's literally you've just got weights coming down the two sides. And the key bit here, Patrick, is when you set up your diagram, just make sure you've got tension here through the two arrows pointing towards each other so these the tension here is equal and opposite the tension here is equal and opposite and then really just imagine this dotted line across here and then really you can then basically look at p in isolation or you can look at q in isolation so given that this particular example we are accelerating upwards p is accelerating upwards and Q is accelerating downwards. When we look at it from the point of view of P, when we look at it from the point of P, obviously that's going upwards. So the tension is greater than the weight. So when you go and do your F equals MA for P, we're just looking at this bit here, then the tension take away the 2MG because obviously the tension is greater because we're going upwards. So our net force is T minus 2MG, the weight, that's our F, and that equals two lots of, uh, and that equals our mass times our acceleration. Our mass is 2M, and our acceleration is unknown. You then, when you go and look at it from the point of view of Q, so we just look at this part of the diagram. Because we're accelerating downwards, the 3MG has got to be greater than the tension. The net force is going downwards. So going downwards, the 3MG, the weight, minus the tension, so that's our net force, equals our mass, which is 3m, times our acceleration. We then have two equations with um, two unknowns. Obviously, g is not an unknown. We know g is 9.8. So we've got, we don't know mass, we don't know acceleration, but we've got two equations, two unknowns, that allows us to just work out everything we want. So I just wanted to go over the basics. So we're just doing f equals ma, Bear in mind which direction each of the components is accelerating. So for P, because it's going upwards, the tension is bigger than the weight. For uh, Q, which is going downwards, the weight is bigger than the tension. Does that make sense, Patrick? Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool, cool. OK, so that was all I wanted to draw to your attention there. And then example 14, very similar here, um, Patrick, in as much that you set the, the, so you have an example where you've got a pulley on the corner of a table with a weight hanging off the table. Um, the weight is heavy enough such that the whole system uh, is moving downwards. So B is accelerating downwards, A is accelerating at the same rate across the table. Again, the key learning point, I think, is set up these tensions here being equal and opposite with the arrowheads pointing to each other. So here, and here and then again you can just pop in these sort of dotted line here and this dotted line here and that just basically means you can look at a in isolation and you can look at b in isolation and it was just like before so with when you're looking at a so again our starting point is f equals ma as always we are resolving in the direction of motion which is left to right our tension must be bigger than our friction because we get, we're moving to the right. So T minus our friction of 0.08G equals our mass times our acceleration. And then when we look at it from the point of view of B, the, the weight must be greater than the tension because it's going downwards. So our 0.8G minus T equals 0.8A. So again, we end up with two equations and um, two unknowns. In fact, we only got the one unknown there. From that, we can work out what the acceleration is. And I oh know we've got sorry, two unknowns, of course, the tension and the acceleration. So again, two two unknowns, two uh, two equations. So we can just solve the simultaneous equation. 
And that's it, really, Patrick. I think those are just the key points. So <clears throat> what would be great, Patrick, if you can just dot around and try and get some of the questions done in 10F, please. So that's that's really what I want you doing um, uh, this week. So try and work through 10F. And then with, with a view, I mean, you don't have to do the mixed exercise. That's, as you know, is just some extra questions. And so, um, Patrick and James, if you've joined us or you're watching the recording, uh, we've then got um, uh, Mrs. Miskin's lesson on Friday. So period one on Friday, you won't be having a lesson from Mrs. Miskin. That's the lesson that's been set aside for you to please have a go at complete completing uh, the unit test eight. OK, which I've set up as an assignment. Is that all clear, Patrick? Yeah, it's OK. OK, thanks for joining, Patrick. Let me know if you get stuck on any of the questions and let me know if you're not quite sure what uh, what the plan is. OK, OK, cheers, Patrick. Um, and obviously, uh, Izzy's left us already. Uh, James, James, hopefully you're going to be picking this up on a recording. OK, bye. Thanks for joining me, Patrick. Bye. Thanks. Bye.